Hello, everybody. It's Matt, the guy that hasn't been in this chair for a hot minute. And I'm back with Animal Crossing, and I am joined by Heather Deary, another lovely person in the Loading Ready Run crew. Uh, I'm just going to get myself to the right corner here. Mm, and I'm a goat. I'll get that chair out of this frame. Over this way. You can tell I haven't yeah, been here for a while. All right. All right. And we have some music in this lovely game as well if it was playing okay hello juliamon thank you for 71 months of support how's everyone's day going mine is just kind of starting with the stream and then i'm gonna go home and then i'm gonna play more animal crossing on my own personal island <laughs> what about you heather oh i'm playing animal crossing right now oh there you go and Mr. Veerite, thank you for your support. I didn't catch how many uh, days that was. How many years? 25 months. Thank you. Good day, everyone. Tom Nook here. One mic clicking, one mic clicking. Here we are. Tom Nook, time for an island-wide broadcast. Your source for island news. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now for today's news. A brilliant fellow named Blathers has joined us on Moonbase Money. I forgot that you named it Moonbase Money, Heather. <laughs> yep. Uh, also, you might be a bit quiet. Is there something I should do on my end to boost you? Uh asking me how technology works uh mm, i can turn my mic up more that'll help um game audio is also somewhat game audio is also really low so it might just be um what's your maybe turn the sliders up i turned the turn game the audio up a bit uh, da 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 da. Blathers. Sorry, what was that? I don't know if I'm connected to the game audio or not. Uh, in terms of what your sliders are. It doesn't sound like you are, but turning up your mic has turned you up in my ears anyway, so. Okay. Uh, can you turn Heather up in Discord on your end, Matt? I will try. I actually have not used Discord very much. Uh, on my end, so uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. technology. You it's might. So cool. It's so cool. You might remember on uh, Wednesday when we did a very successful AFK, but not AFK, uh, with uh, Jackbox Games and. My mic dropped half an hour, an hour into it, and I was futzing around with technology that entire time, trying to figure out what to do, and I didn't, I did not successfully get my mic hooked back up. Yeah, there should be some voice settings on the call somewhere, but I don't know where. Your volume is at 100%. Okay, well. Is there a way to boost it beyond 100%? I don't know. Well, for now, I'll uh, just have the game audio be a bit lower so that you're not fighting with it. Apparently, you can go higher. You can go up to 200%. Oh, wow. Wild one is he? Hmm. Yeah, chat's very useful in these situations. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that, wild one is he? Also, I'm getting a bit of echo of myself on your end, Heather. Is there a way to work around that? Uh, oh, and the notifier could be lower. I'm gonna lower that too. I'm still, I'm still trying to make, figure out how to make my windows be bigger because I made it smaller and 
That was a mistake. Oh, I can boost your audio by boosting the stream. <laughs> huh. Cool. I'm not well, sure if the uh, notifier will be super loud, though. But we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> Tom Nook, I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. We'll try. It's a lovely rainy day here in Moonbase Money. And also in Victoria, BC. That did boost the uh, notifier. Mm. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell because I can't hear any of your uh, your onboard sounds. That's fair. That's fair. Which is, it's honestly, is fine. I know exactly what Animal Crossing sounds like. <laughs> oh, people are saying the notifier seems fine, so I'll leave it where it is. Okay, cool. Got some mail from Happy Home uh, Economy or whatever it was, decorator. I forgot the word. Congrats on your new home. Greetings from the Happy Home Academy. There we are. Our goal, we want to help you make your home the best that it can be. Look for more messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. We have a lovely gift. And thank you. I'm going to throw away your uh, note. <laughs> from mom, my dear Lurmanity, you're a mother of thousands. Whenever I see a plane, I think of you and wave at those airborne strangers with all my might. I had no idea how many flights took off each day. My arm is exhausted. Enjoy your fresh start from mom with a gift. Thank you, and I'll leave that one in there. It seems rude to throw away a thing from your mom. What do we got? A wooden end table. I'm going to learn that quickly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I think that was from the Happy Home Academy, though. This one, I think, yeah, I think is I think, from Mom. Uh, I think Mom gives you fruit. Three cherries. On my island, cherries are the native fruit. So to see them here is just like, oh, well, thanks, Mom. But actually, on this island, they're worth a fair amount. Yeah. This this island only has peaches right now. Yes. This is how we left it. Is if you plant other trees on here, do they grow uh -huh. the same fruit or do they change their fruit to match the island? No, no, they, they, they grow the, uh, the fruit that you plant, um, okay. but they're still considered non-native. So I guess they're more of a invasive species. Great. I invaded my island with some pears then. They just haven't, uh, blossomed into oh a shiny spot blossomed into uh full paradigm yet cool yeah i have i have all the fruits so i can give you everything sorry you have every single fruit yeah you have connections i i just opened my island up to the chat uh, okay chat is your connections <laughs> Don't you know, Matt? I have eyes and ears everywhere. <laughs> Great, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first Animal Crossing game I've played, and I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Oh, good. I feel like playing... Oh, and you've gone. Playing Stardew Valley really kind of primed me for this. Would you say that's accurate, or...? Like, would it work the I other mean, way around more? I mean, Stardew Valley's a lot more intense than this game, and I'm, Stardew Valley's a fairly chill game as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, it's it's got some similarities. I Just hearing the phrase, Stardew Valley is more intense than this, kind of tickles me a bit. <laughs> Do you disagree? Well, it's more structured, I'll say that much. I'm, I'm not going to disagree. Oh, lovely. You left a post here, so I should leave a post here. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. 
what should I leave? What kind of clothes should I leave? Well, I'll go with my classic on brand thing. And I didn't mean to make it look so angry. But uh, I mean, you'll see what it is. The, uh, you know what it is. Oh, okay. Bass controls are hard to, to draw with. Ooh, that's not... Just erase it all. Start over. I'm, I'm gonna leave. I, I'm gonna live my best life here, which is actually my worst life, because I'm just making such a mess. Uh, how do you... Oh, why? There we are. Then I'll go medium. <laughs> These controls are hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I assume this works better on, like, um... A phone? Touch screen. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Don't worry, I drew the other one and, and is some of my best worst work. Best worst work, that's what we're here for. And I'm doing some best worst work right now. Oh. This is shaky. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you. You are lovely for saying so. Is it a dog or a bunny or? Oh, lovely. Demon thing? <laughs> demon thing. You're closer with well, that. You look like you've got horns on the top. Okay, no, wait. I get it now. You do? I don't know why that took me so long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is it a horse or a bunny? Oh, I didn't know it was that bad. Um, I'm gonna save this by saying it's kind of winking a bit on this side, if that makes sense. Yes. And just very quickly, there we are. I think I'm done. There we are. And is that, I hear a little wind. I didn't, don't see something up in the air though. <laughs> you gain that ear for the balloon yeah it yeah, except it's... sometimes when i'm near the seashore it'll sound like wind for a balloon and it's not it just tips me off so you see since the number of homeowners is increasing i agree that we need to build a shop however when it comes to building supplies our customers homes should take priority I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm? This should be a piece of cake. Tom Nook having his plans. Well, hello there, Lermanity. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Well, at least we can decorate it more. <laughs> Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up flooring and wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All home or, home, uh, home owners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. I got something from them. The HA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. Even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. I'm not sure how you rate high with a home. Heather probably knows better. It's if it's anything like previous games, it has to do with the kind of furniture you have out and like the theming and stuff. But it's also like the more furniture you have out, mm. at least at the beginning, and stuff like what you have on your walls and the floor. Like, just like not being just... a default and having a full set of something, probably. Yeah, like, if you have an entire set of, uh, of the same kind of furniture, and it's it's set up nicely, mm. and you've got, like, a, a wallpaper and a flooring that kind of, uh, that match that set, or go with the theme. That must be hell to try and program. <laughs> I think it's just taking at that point. Probably, yeah. Oh, a new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells. 
Did you leave me 98,000 bells, Heather? Uh, I don't know. Check the deposit machine. <laughs> because I have 100 on me right now. I don't think so. I, I don't know that we were... We, we definitely left you a lot of fish and stuff outside the museum. Mm. We did we did wall of fish, but I don't know if we left money. Well, I saw that one glowing spot in the ground, and I think I remember hearing something about growing a money tree. So I think yeah, I'm gonna so try wanna, and plant something on there. You wanna you wanna plant money in the in the glowing spot. Plant money. Yeah. Not a sapling. No, no, no. You put cash in there. You put anything else in there, you're not getting your money tree. Good to know for my own Lionland. <laughs> because I planted a bamboo and a sapling on two separate money spots. Ah, no. <laughs> well, now I know. How much money do you have to drop in there, then? Uh, so when you dig out the hole, you get usually a thousand bells. Yeah. And then yeah. you, uh, you can dump... People are saying you can dump up to 10,000 bells in there, and then when it grows, you'll get 30,000. Mm. There have been reports that some people have done 15 and higher successfully, but also a lot of people saying that there hasn't been, so I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. Mm. I mean, we're up for experimentation here, so okay. let's figure Did we leave you any cash? Uh, there was, I think, about 14,000 in there. Okay, so some. Not not enough for your loan, clearly, but... Yeah, but I have peaches. I can sell peaches. Well, you should plant at least one of them first. Can you just plant a peach? Yeah, you dig a hole in the ground, and then you put it in it. Huh. I've never done that. I also don't have a, uh... <laughs> I don't have a shovel. Hmm. Well, I would suggest maybe uh, getting a shovel. If, if the museum is is open, donating some of that stuff out of your pockets. Yeah. Then getting a shovel. Uh, if you plant the peaches, if I come over and give you a bunch of fruit to plant as well, mm -hmm. uh, that'll give you a bunch of nook miles, and you can probably buy uh, your pocket space. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. I saw someone who was who did time shifting in game on Twitter mm -hmm. and they still did not have the pocket upgrade but they had so much money so much money and I'm like do you not want a pocket <laughs> it's so useful <laughs> ah blathers could it be that you are Lermanity, the personage who chose the location for this tent? Yes, I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Ooh. Now, regarding the aforementioned research. Truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and, henceforth, dwell on this island amongst you. So should you discover a new type of insect or fish, You'd be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though I confess there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils, too. Hoo! As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say, I can't just hop over it, you say. Hoo, silly you, I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Lermanity, you are pardoned, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. After I talk with Blather Blathers, I'll uh, let you uh, catch up on some of the 
notifications there, Heather. <laughs> there, you see, with wood gathered from moon base money, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo! I sent <laughs> DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Lurmanity, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I've blathered on far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. I believe we have at least that many outside. <laughs> so I'll be quiet for a hot second while uh, you chat away, Heather. All right. Um, well, we have a number of subs. Mm -hmm. uh, Tariq, 1976 for 18 months. Welcome back. View Forever, 23 for 53 months. Sub time again. Hmm, better think of something witty. Yes, yes. Blast Jedi subscribe for 35 months. Tarantulas are the best and worst. Insaf for 74 months. Welcome back. Tyran Dragon for 53 months. Yay, Animal Crossing. Coop Roop for 29 months. Malambus has cheered with 100 bits. Sea Tab for 62 months. Been a while since I watched, but no time like the present. Lord Hydros for 13 months. Beware Tarantula Island, Matt. It's full of spiders. Lady Desco for 37 months. Pharaoh Bender 27 has gifted Noi 2222 a sub. Not a real artist has subscribed for 16 months. Time to fry for 16 months. Woo, Animal Crossing, say hi to Isabel for me. And Milambus has gifted the following five people to the channel Yuna Laska Kier, Hirex 26, Fluffy 776, and. Lessa Hexchen. Thank you all. Good job, Heather, and thank you for those announcements. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving Blathers some bugs that he hates. Uh, oh, yeah, Blathers does not like insects at all. Yeah. Uh, isn't it great that most of the things outside are insects? Isn't it? Mm hmm. Um. There are new insects here that I haven't seen on my island because I chose uh, spring for uh, my time, or rather northern hemisphere for my island. So yeah, it, that, that island is in the south. It is interesting to see all the different stuff here. We told, we told the switch that we lived in Oceania. So you lied. <laughs> yes. But it was for a good cause. I believe you. Uh, oh, dream house. We got the first. Oh, one room loaner. Nice. Uh, first upgrade for a dream house. A home that you build yourself gives greater livability. And I think if we keep upgrading, we'll get more of that. Uh, da, 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 da. Where should I go now? Where? That's what I was going in here. I kind of want the <laughs> minimap to be always on, personally. I'll change it back if, uh, well, actually, if you come in for another stream, you can change it back. I, I just mean, personally like it. It's fine. You're playing. Yeah. Where is the shop, I wonder? Hmm, maybe I have to talk to Noop to set up the shop. It's, uh, it's day two. You don't have a shop yet. Oh, yeah. I guess I can't Timmy, sell Timmy, stuff. Tell me you're still in the tent. Yeah. Did you get the shovel pattern from... Do you have the shovel pattern? I have the vaulting pole. I don't think I have a... Oh, I think he mailed me the vaulting pole DIY. Or no, he put it to my phone. Put it to no, my but phone. Do, you, do you have a shovel pattern? Let's like, check. Can you even craft the shovel right now? Oh, I can. Great. Okay, good. I just need more hardwood. I'll get that in a hot minute here. Hello there, Lumanity. Congratulations. Something to chat about. Hmm? I'm guessing it's where the shop goes. 
Building a new shop, great. Our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory. Oh, you know what I can do? I can come, when I come over, I can give you a ladder, which is like, not a thing you'll have a pattern for yet, but it'll give you more mobility. Yeah, I did that to, I did that too. I did that for a friend of mine a couple days ago. That would be actually very helpful. I guess I have to open up the uh, airport for you. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you whenever you're ready for that. All right, I'm gonna actually just run down there right now. There's so much to do in this game. <laughs> uh, how many uh, villager people do you have in your game, Heather? Um. I just had the third one settled for move-in, so I'm at five now. Mm. I think I have five total in my island. I went to a lot of the Nook Miles places on the mm. second day. Hello, Orville. The crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. All right, we got cards. Mail. Just have to pay for it. And our free Nook Miles ticket, which I will use at a later date. A bit busy right now. Uh, I want visitors. All right, let's be uh, kind to each other. And I understand being kind to each other. I believe this is online play for mm -hmm. you, yeah. Be considerate. Please don't chat or behave in a way that would irritate other players. I like that he calls it the legal eagles. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I can report you if you harass me too much. But I trust Heather to be a very kind individual. I like how he's just like sweating over the keyboard like, oh, I have so much work to do. I mean, the internet connection is hard off an island like that, right? Yeah. Just like work, 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 work. Uh, Sorry, I guess... you should just hit my friends. Yeah. Because I'm friended with the, the lure switch. Mm. So this should be fine. Sure, I'll give you my phone to install something onto. Why not? I trust you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all very secure, all these apps that people keep adding to your phone mm -hmm. that you didn't buy, <laughs> did buy. Not to even mention that it's a company phone. Mm -hmm. That's why there's no Facebook on it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, for the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, I'll let you pop on over whenever you can and want to are willing to and have a good time doing so. Now. That was easy. <laughs> oh, but now I need a new net. TXC2, people still use Facebook? Yeah, a lot of people still use Facebook. A lot of people. <laughs> I've been off of Facebook for, I 
think eight months now. I have a Facebook, but I have not visited it in like five years. <laughs> no, I, I, I outright deleted mine. Mm. Oh, it's turned on its side. That's why it wasn't working. I'm like, why can't I craft on my table? Also, do not fear my appearance. You're a pocket animal? A... A... Well, you're not a monster, you're an animal, so... A poke... Any? Instead of a Pokemon? <laughs> a po a, a Arriving poke from Pocket? <laughs> yeah. That's, oh. my, that's my town name. Or it's, it's island name. name. It's a Pocket Island, just for you. Okay. <laughs> Told you not to fear me. Don't fear the Reaper. Look, some things happened last night. It looks like you had a good time. Press R to send messages. We don't need to do that because we are literally in a uh, Discord call right now. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna drop to uh, the ladder. Um, you have cherries already. Yes. Pears, apples, coconuts. I think that's everything. It. Need. It's really telling that I didn't even think to plant the fruit from a tree to make a tree that makes that fruit. I literally did not even think of it. <laughs> I'm gonna request best friend access so I can mail you uh, our account things if I feel like it. I think that's well, here. I guess I can technically do that without that, but I'll do it anyway. Hello. Okay. Hello. Uh, we're best friends now. Your icon doesn't show your mask though, which I think is a bit. <laughs> Not truthful. Oh, so much stuff. Uh, I don't have room for much of it. I'm gonna I mean, pick up that and sell some stuff off. Yeah. Uh, you also get Nook Miles for planting your own fruit. Your, your native fruit. Is it only native or any fruit? So you get Nook Miles for planting each kind of fruit, oh, including okay. your native fruit. Just the, the first time. Okay, good to know. I have not planted any fruit at all in my game. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know that, that how, to, how to and some stuff that you can do with it. Or some miles you can get out of it, because it's kind of need miles for certain things in this game. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Actually, how many miles do I have? I might be able to get the pocket upgrade. Yeah, because if you can, I recommend it. Yeah. That's one of the things in games like these that I just immediately go for is uh, carrying capacity. Uh, 5,000. Not quite there yet. I'll get there eventually. Like, whenever I've played um, Skyrim, for example. Mm -hmm. Old game no one's ever heard about. Uh, I'm just constantly full of so much crafting materials and stuff. I picked some fruit, so I got a thing. Um, I'm just all about carrying reagents on my body to the point where I cannot carry anything else. Did you set your home island to uh, Northern Hemisphere? Yep. Mm. Now, where should I plant all of these? Uh, 
can't vault quite yet. Maybe over here. So many peaches everywhere. I kind of like the idea of... I don't have a shovel, do I? I do not. Okay. No, you gotta craft one. Time to go craft a sh shovel. Excuse me. I need that pocket! <laughs> <laughs> Having the minimap up all the time is especially useful when uh, it's not your island that you're on. Yeah, I played I I played the lure game first and then started one on my own, and I kind of just got lost repeatedly. Kept trying to go places that did not exist yet. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to drop this fruit while I get more wood. Actually, no. I already have an axe. I don't need to drop anything to get more wood. Okay. I guess I don't have an axe anymore. <laughs> well, I guess you'll have to craft one. Yep. After the first couple days... I stopped crafting only flimsy stuff because I had enough stone and iron that it wasn't mm -hmm. like short. But the first couple days I was really running through stuff. So do you know that you can shake the same tree repetitively to get uh, sticks? Um, I usually only shake them once and try to get all the trees. But yeah, you can get more sticks. Are you that also way. aware that you can hit the tree three times for wood? I guess I can't can cut it down with this, can I? No, you can't cut it down with that. But you can hit the tree three times and get, um, uh, and that's as much wood as the tree will give you without. Um, you need a sharper axe to cut the tree down. Yeah, now I remember. You can't that. cut the tree down with a stone axe. Oh, that's new. Did Are you... you aware of what uh, what things uh, to check every day for, too, on your island? Uh, some sort of uh, furniture from a tree. Mm -hmm. um, the ABD for your daily dose of uh, free Nook Miles. Uh, chatting with your people, just to be nice, to be a good neighbor. Uh, place item. Oh. Okay, I can't put that down. <laughs> Uh, there's also going around and looking for fossils. I mean, oh, that'll yeah. just start for this island, but for your own. Uh, yeah, I've been doing that too. checking your shoreline for the message of the bottle. Because mm. mm -hmm. one of those should show up daily. Let's drop those. And then also looking for your money rock. Is there only one money rock? There should only be one money rock. Mm. It, it'll, it'll switch every day. Is it just me, or are rocks on a timer? Yes. Like, that's weird. Do you know the hold trick? Hold trick? You, you you dig holes behind yourself on on the rock so that when you're hitting it, it can't knock you back far enough to not reach the rock anymore, and then you just keep spamming until you get all the stuff out of the rock. Okay. You know all the tricks. You just know everything about this game. I played New Leaf for since the day came out every day for at least two years, and then uh, every few days after that. You are dedicated. So I base a lot of my knowledge off of that, but yeah, I, I know a lot about Animal Crossing. God, I really want that pocket upgrade. Um, I think 
here is as far out as we can go. Or a peach. Plant one. Fruit roots. Oh, it's just one of each variety? Mm-hmm. All right. That's why I said, yeah, I gotta, gotta also do your peaches. Gotta do them At peaches. Least one time. Because it, that'll give you a bunch of Nook Miles that way. I got, um, a, no, not one, two coconut trees by just eating a fruit and uprooting the whole tree on a random mm -hmm. island. That didn't get me any Nook Miles, though. Well, it's because you didn't plant the tree. Yeah. You just uprooted it. Do they have to be on the beach for coconuts? Yes. Okay. And double over. There's like, there's there's fruit I haven't seen that I'm hoping there's another card for, because there was a bunch of other fruit uh, in in New Leaf. Uh, in And one of the beach fruit was bananas. And I haven't seen that yet, or like the lychees or the mangoes and stuff. So I don't know if they're in this game, but I'm hoping they are. I've seen grapes. And You've seen grapes? Yes, and I noticed that you did not give me grapes in the assortment there. I don't have any grapes. Huh. Weird. Okay. Need to go get those cherries. So much to do. Why did I drop them all the way over here? <laughs> drop those ones. Pick up these ones. Yeah, Chad is saying there aren't bananas. Yeah, I'm I'm hopeful that it's gonna be a thing like an update. Because yeah. they're doing uh seasonal DLC stuff for for things, but hmm. um so I'm I'm hoping more fruit comes in an update later. Twins other half. And unparable pair. And crisp. Mr. or Mrs. or Miss Popular. And tropically grown coconut. What is your um, personal uh, title on your uh, passport, Heather? It's Pocket Animal. Po so when I oh in... yeah, Pocket Animal. Mine is Handmade Egg. Just because. <laughs> Felt like a good name. I don't remember what we gave. I don't know if we changed it for Floor Manatee or not. I can't remember now. I can check. Let's get a bit more wood here. Uh, I have to check it on here. Uh, Desert Island Relocator. I don't think we've changed it, though. Yeah. You should change it then, because I know that's worth Nook Miles, too. For the first time. I would. Huh. It's not allowing me to, unless I do uh, it somewhere else. I can, I can leave. Oh, that's fine. I'm done fishing anyway. You got all your rare fish? Well, I mean, you're on a southern island, and I'm in a northern one, so there's different fish here. Mm. Yeah. So, of course I'm taking advantage of this. <laughs> Why not, right? But my pockets are full now, so... There you are. Show off. <laughs> I don't have that yet. Do you not? No. I can make one, but I don't have room. <laughs> ah, fair, okay. Huh. Weird. There we are. Do, do, do. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have reactions yet. I was gonna say, like, in wave by, but I'll say in wave wave by right now. Bye, Heather. Have a good Bye. island. <laughs> I mean, the, you'll stay in uh, chat, yeah, but there's uh there's a certain number of things you can't do when people are over. So like, you can't place things on the ground. Mm -hmm. You can drop them, but you can't place stuff. You can't donate things to the museum. Mm -hmm. My guess is it probably would mess up the game, or it's to stop people from trying to, like, uh, cheat by, like, donating a thing and then, like, canceling out so the thing doesn't save properly or something. Yeah, it's probably anti-griefing as well. Mm. Uh... But there, now you should be able to change your title and place down uh, extra fish and stuff. There we are, yes. Uh, I'm going to make a comment. We are museum. Great. Um, cannot edit my title though, weird. Oh no, there it is. Okay, good. I was like, that that's weird. Yeah. But yeah, from from taking a run around the uh moon base cash money island, uh I've seen that there's a there's a bottle on uh one of on one of the shorelines for you to pick up. Uh that'll give you a another DIY recipe. Mm -hmm. Uh I saw some uh, fossils buried in the ground. So there's there's lots for you to mess around with. There's so much stuff to do. Uh, I'm gonna drop off all this fruit in the house. Because it doesn't rot, does it? No. Yeah, it's the only, only thing that rots is turnips. Yeah. Have you did you get your uh your shop set up on your home game in time to get turnips? I did, yes. Nice. I only bought 20, and then someone wanted me to give them something, and the only thing I could give them was the 20 turnips. Oh no! So I gave them away. But it was like 200 bells for them when I bought them, like, whatever. Last night, when- because I didn't- I didn't get my thing set up in time in order to get turnips on the Sunday. Uh, and last night I was checking the turnip prices, and my turnips were selling for 628 bells. There you go. And it felt like the game was taunting me. <laughs> but I mean, also then I just I let people onto my island to to sell their turnips for the, for the few who had them. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like getting bells is not actually that hard in this game. If you play it enough, no. you'll get bells. No, but there's usually stuff associated with that, and it's a it's like a really good, easy way to get turnips if you can find. Um, I mean, the best way to do it is to try and buy them fairly at a decently low price if you can, mm -hmm. and then uh, hope that your friends will uh, or go online and find people who who've been like, oh, I have I have a high turnip price right now. So that people can come and sell them. Yeah. Have fun on the stock market, right? Mm-hmm. I like how it's only turnips. There's nothing else. I do think it's funny that turnips rot and, like, you do want, at least in New Leaf, you did want some stuff that, that uh, would rot. Like, uh, there was fruit that you could find that was rotten in New Leaf. Oh. Um, when you got perfect fruit, there, when when you got the last of the perfect fruit of that tree, because you had to replant it, the tree eventually stop, would stop giving producing it. It would uh, also drop a rotten fruit. So oh. that was also, but that's like rotten from the get-go. And there were certain bugs that if you left rotten fruit or even like the rotten turnips out, because maybe your turnips had gone bad. Yeah that would show up on the fruit if you left it out. Huh. 
I mean, if you're going to have a feature, why not build something into having that feature, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the, that's the other thing. Basically, anything... Uh, there, there are different bugs that show up in different environments, so the... Uh, you, you almost want a couple of stumps out, because there are bugs that only show up on stumps. Yeah, I got um, one of those in my island. Yeah, and like, the snail, I think, only shows up on the rock if it's raining. Yeah, I got that too. And, and just little things like that, so it's like, for fish, you've got your ocean fish, and your river fish, and your pond fish, but then there's fish that only show up on, like, near the waterfall at certain times of the year. Huh. Like salmon, because salmon go up in, like, September. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind for September. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, at different times of night. I know there was one fish uh, in New Leaf that only showed up if it was raining after, like, 4 p.m. on certain times of the year, and it was, like, a really big deal if you could find it. Huh. I mean, there has to be a couple hard ones to get, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, in essence, this game is a lot like Stardew Valley, especially when it comes to, like, where do you find your fish? fish. Yeah. <laughs> Only with a real-time clock. Yeah, you can't really play around with that clock too much. I have not personally gotten a Tarantula Island yet, which I'm kind of glad about <laughs> yeah i've not found that either but i keep trying i'd actually like to find this supposed scorpion island that exists scorpion island yeah because i've gotten i've gotten the tarantula already from a museum and i i i'd like a scorpion yeah i don't have a scorpion either it took me four or five tries before i finally figured out how to catch a tarantula Mm -hmm. Got like, bit a lot. The the first time a tarantula appeared, it was right outside of a um, villager's house, and I just walked outside, walked three steps, and then died. And <laughs> was like, "What happened? Oh, there's a spider! Great! I have to watch out for those, apparently." Yeah, there's only a couple of things that should knock you out like that. Uh, tarantulas, scorpions probably still do, Yeah. and wasps if they sting you a second time without, uh, if you haven't recovered with medicine. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten the medicine DIY recipe? Yep. Yeah, I did too. Found that by showing off. By showing off? Yeah, somebody somebody asked like why why bother getting rid of the uh, uh, the sting, and I was like, well, because your villagers will talk to you about it and they'll make fun of you, and so I like went to go show that that was a thing, and the villager was just like, have a DIY thing, and I was just like, oh my goodness, did not expect this. And it's a use Great. for the uh, wasp hives, mm -hmm. which is good. <laughs> I made a, there's a recipe I got that was like, it's like six or seven wasp hives to make a honeycomb wall. I got that one too, yeah. Haven't gotten the floor yet, which I assume exists. Oh, great. Probably? Most, most flooring has a wall equivalent. Yeah. Time to fill up this museum. I think I'm gonna actually skip the, uh little chats here just to keep the gameplay going. Yeah, go for it. Uh, if you hold down the R or the B button, he'll talk faster. I think you just have to um, uh, tap it for each uh, screen. Although you can hold it down too. Kind of sounds funny. Oh, I actually went through it. Whoops. Yes, I do have something else. Have you, uh, have you fished up trash at all? Yes, I got a ton of DIY for that too. Nice. The shoes I'm wearing 
are the recycled ones. Mm, mm. I haven't found any other shoes that I like more. So we found that when you fish up the tires, it, at least we haven't found it with the other stuff yet, but when you fit, the more tires you end up fishing up, the more other DIY recipes that start to unlock. Really? Huh. Yeah. I didn't know it was specific to tires. Well, there might be f more for like the cans and the boots, but I haven't had that happen yet. But the um, uh, I actually tweeted the clip from my stream last night with uh, with Beach because he he fished up another tire. So the first tire you fish up will get you a DIY for like uh, basically a buried tire in the ground. They call it a tire toy. Yeah, and and that's kind of cool. And then the next one that you get is like a stack of tires. And it's like, all right, sure, I put three tires together, make a stack, got it. But then he 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 uh he fished up another tire last night and it was trash bags. Trash bag? Oh, I got that DIY. Yeah, and I was just like, what why why a little literal trash? Is that really a recipe? Is that really DIY? Yeah. I mean, you're doing it yourself. You're taking out the trash. Each one I got that I didn't actually use anywhere to decorate, I put mm -hmm. behind the uh, tent right here. <laughs> so there's just <laughs> trash bags peeking out from behind it. Oh, neat. Just to give a little character, right? Uh, whoops. I'm going to drop that. Let's see if we can get this museum opened up. There's a trash floor and trash wall, too. I unlocked both of those as well. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. You just need to do a lot of fishing and keep getting trash. <laughs> I have heard that there are supposed trash islands where all you fish up is trash, but... Huh. I know there was one island I got which was just a big lake surrounded by flowers and whoops i said yes to it again um and i got like three pieces of trash from it but i didn't mm -hmm. fish very much because my inventory was full anyway got a darner dragonfly haven't gotten while that you're one doing yet. that i'm gonna read off the four new subs go for it uh sacronos for 47 months this quarantine is a massive burden on my soul. Social interactions via calls cost twice the energy I already need. I'm in luck. I have a stable job. This still sucks. Please take a token of appreciation for the light you provide in this hell. I'm, I'm glad we can provide some of that, Sacramento's. I hope things get better. Uh, Win Winter Nightingale for eight months. Dusk Yagami for five. And Miss Temperance for 38 months. Welcome back all. Thank you for those announcements, Heather Deary. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think with how much work everyone's doing to keep this from being super bad, it's gonna not be super bad. Uh, just trust in what you can do. And it's definitely, I think, been harder on some people than others. Yeah. Like, I've seen some people i know who are incredibly social who don't haven't because they haven't had to interact online a lot they're they're still working out how to do that and like trying to find like webcams and stuff so that and figure out how their social groups work online um some others are a little bit already kind of into that so it's easier on on other people if you already kind of have everything set up yeah or you're used to maybe having a little bit more downtime like i don't think of myself as the most social person who's just like oh yes big groups and and all that so it's it the first couple of days we're like oh all right this isn't anything different and now it's yeah. been a little bit like huh okay i guess It'd be nice to see somebody once in a while. 
Turns out it's nice to leave the house sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we, we still can. Like, we can go outside or just stay away from people right now. Yeah. Um, so I've gone, like, around the block a couple of times. Yeah. Like, I have, every other day lately, been going to a local, excuse me, uh, cafe near my place. Um, and, like, washing my hands before I go out, washing my hands once I come back, being very conscientious about all of that. Uh, but just to get out of the house, going there and then coming back as my thing. Um, <laughs> turns out when you have an entire day, like yesterday for me, of just staying in the apartment, you get a certain feeling, and it's not a very good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, there are places... I used to... Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I, I used to just basically only like go to coffee shops when I really wanted uh, atmosphere mm -hmm. and stuff, but that's not really a thing. Or, you know, I'd go to like the fabric store, but they're closed. Um, and, and my alternative is to go grocery shopping, but I don't really enjoy it at all. You it's... don't enjoy grocery shopping? Eh, grocery shopping's like whatever it's a necessity yeah but it's also harder when you have to try to like get through tight quarters without coming near people so it's just like i guess i will enjoy the sky i am so lucky to live on the eighth floor of my building which means that i can look out and see the ocean and mm have that view to allow me to separate myself from where I'm sitting, at least visually. Not everyone has that, but it's nice to have. I guess that's why higher floors and apartment buildings are uh, a bit more expensive. Yeah. Can you see the, the mountains from your viewpoint too? On a very clear day, I can see them across the uh, ocean. Yep over to Washington. Oh. Yeah, our building faces the other direction. Oh, yeah. But uh, I, I've been in, in some friends' places that face that way. I quite like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a good view of Beacon Hill Park from where hmm. I live. So I get to see the flagpole and all of the trees and then the ocean beyond. It's a lovely view. My apartment, however, is a uh, particularly small place, so... It has its downsides. Yeah. I really I really should check out, like, uh, we've got a very small balcony off our place I should maybe actually open up and walk onto right now and then. Go ahead. I have a balcony. I do not go out on it because I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those I things mean, that I just can't do. <laughs> it's not really my. I mean, you're on the eighth floor. We're not that high up. Yeah. Trust me. I I also would not be. I'm not. I'm not really a balcony person to begin with. But I'm also uh, eighth floor balcony. Yeah. Not in your life. Mm -mm. No. No. I I literally have had nightmares with that balcony as a feature where I've woken up and gone oh I'm gonna stay away from that for a couple days Ah, <laughs> Agnes is missing us sorry about hitting you on the head twice with my net <laughs> accidentally mm. I do not have Agnes in my uh, island. The two villagers that I started out with on my island were two sporty ones. You got two sports? Yeah, um, one was Mira. The other one I'm blanking on, but it was kind of a dark, ruddy, brownish red colored cat. Forgetting the hmm. name. Rudy, I think? 
Those are my two starters. I got a message. Dear person I don't know, my style is legit always on my mind. I'm always asking, am I operating at peak me? So here's a special recipe that'll let you look however you want, whenever you want. Use this to glitz up your style. The cutest artisan, Maddie. Ooh, a, wooden, yeah. a wooden table mirror. Ah, yes, the mirrors are how you change your appearance. Which, I mean, we look cute. Why would I change that? Right? <laughs> Oh, and you. I am going to sell off some stuff before I talk to you. Mm. I think we have monarch butterflies already, right? Maybe? I don't know. It's hard I'll to keep one. track when it's, when it's a, a second island and I haven't played on it for like a couple of weeks. Or, I guess, a week. Oh, they're not showing up. I know if you check your um, little pedia here with the fish and insects, mm -hmm. a little owl sign will appear next to the name if it's donated. I guess once the museum's open. Yeah. But at least we've yeah, caught I... a monarch before. Yeah, because you, you, you're on that... Did you you gave uh, Blathers enough stuff that Blathers was like, now museum will happen tomorrow. Yes. Or whatever. So yeah, you can't give Blathers any more stuff anyway. Yeah. We just barely had enough. Uh, I'm gonna get that pocket. It really is actually cramping my style right now. <laughs> I'm someone that will carry around all of the building materials with me. I won't like oh. drop them somewhere. Oh, I pe I I put a building, uh, a DIY bench in my house, and then I just keep all of my stuff in storage. That makes sense. There are some people I've seen who leave bundles of their crafting supplies near like their outdoor storage, uh, their out their out outdoor workbench. Yeah. But I'm just here, like, hauling so much wood on my back. Like, yes, I am a villager, enjoying my villager life. Now to go help that seagull. After we get some peaches. Uh, I want this lovely pig lady on my island. She seems nice. <laughs> Can keep my eye open for her. There's a lot of really good villagers. Mm -hmm. But Agnes is, is, yeah, definitely a good one. Wake up. Wake up, lazy bones. I believe you have to talk to him a bunch to wake him up. There we are. Okay. Do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Wait! I don't see pizza! Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none... Oliver than Gulliver! A seafaring seagull of the seven... Seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Great. Most people do. I guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. It's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy. Uh... Oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. 
Aw, oh, sorry, Dean. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. That could take a while. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my parts, please? Sure. Probably buried in the sand somewhere. Thanks for being lazy and making me do all the work. T. Stodden, Rusty Parts. I've gotten a couple from the recycling bin in the Nook's tent. What are they for? Oh, okay. So, apparently, there is a DIY recipe for a robot at some point that requires... Uh, like 30 rusted parts. So if you find those, keep them. Okay. I've... Uh, the the going thing right now is that there's uh, when Gulliver shows up, that there's probably six parts in the ground. If you miss the sixth one, it ends up in the recycling bin. But I don't know like if that's true or not. Huh. I've only yeah, ever gotten five, but I haven't looked for a sixth one. Yeah, neither have I. But like again, it shows up in the in the recycling bin. So basically it's just like, when you come across those, you should be keeping those in storage. I have been because I didn't know what they did. <laughs> like, there's other stuff that that is required to make that robot as well, but it sounds like the rusted parts are gonna be the hardest thing to accumulate. Hmm. Yeah, I only have two so far. Uh, I keep going for the tool wheel. <laughs> Oh, right, you wouldn't have that yet. Not yet. I wanted more storage before I got that. You can uh, you can go back and forth between tools by just pushing the left and right on the left-hand side mm -hmm. of the controllers as well. Oh. Um. The order, I don't ha understand. Like, I do that and it's like, oh, it's the pole, okay. Oh, it's the ladder. Okay. Not sure why. <laughs> yeah, I know I know Beach has like he's developed a specific order on the wheel. Really? So any any time he has to replace tools, he puts them back in that order cuz he's basically developed muscle memory. Mm. Like for the tool wheel? Whenever yeah. one of my tools breaks, I immediately replace it anyway, so it auto-fills. But yeah, I have like a muscle memory of, oh, my fishing rod is at right. I had to check. <laughs> it's on the right hand, the east. Ooh, money. Uh, apparently it switches to the next item left and right in your inventory from the current one. Oh, so that I makes sense. You set them up in a specific way and you're holding if you wanted. That makes sense, yeah. So many peaches on this island. Wait, not that one. They didn't they didn't have the tool wheel in uh in New Leaf, so switching back and forth by using the arrows was kind of the way to do it. I don't think you could shake the trees while holding the net at that time either, so you kind of had to like pre-prep that your net would be the first thing that would pop up when you were trying to uh, get around wasps. Yeesh. I successfully changed the tool I had in hand to the net using the a tool wheel once in time to uh, save myself from a wasp, but you just mm. don't have enough time. <laughs> so many oh, pieces. the welcome amiibo update added the ability to shake trees while holding the net. Ah, well then. Six. I have enough space for a couple more. So many. Uh, where am I even going here? Let's 
sell some of this stuff. Actually, I should finish up getting those things. All the way over here. So much to do on this island. So much content. <laughs> The first time Gulliver showed up to my island earlier this week, I was like, okay, I'll um, dig up the uh, beach for you. And I just dug up random spots and nothing was coming up. I didn't know it was the little water jets that I had to look for. I I didn't know either. I, I suspected, I was expecting to have to look for um, the cross marks that are like fossils and stuff mm. so i ran around at first trying to find like a bigger marking yeah i had the visitor i forget her name but she likes stargazing she showed up oh celeste C celeste maybe yeah yeah the, um, the pink red owl yeah the owl and I tried stargazing and nothing was happening. And I'm like, am I doing it wrong? <laughs> because I waited like two full minutes and nothing was showing up. And I mean, I had to go to bed, so. Hmm. What you're looking for is uh, uh, shooting stars in the sky. Yeah. And you want to uh, make sure you don't have any tools in hand and then push A when you see one to wish upon a star. Mm hmm is it like after midnight that they show up? It's random. It's random. Okay. So, uh, last night I had a couple of shooting stars. You can usually hear them. There's like a tinkling sound in the sky. Hmm. Um, so that's like a good clue to look up. Uh, occasionally there are meteor showers when when there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But those are those are rare. Good to know. I didn't know that they were audible. Yeah. No, it's it's like it's it's like that that uh the fact that you can hear the balloon, right? It's it's a it's a small noise that when you hear it for the first time you might just be like, huh, that was weird. But once you figure it out, you're like always just on the eyes to the uh, sky. Yeah, you're just kind of always looking out for it with your ears. Looking out for it with your ears. Uh, chat says that the skies have to be clear with no clouds for shooting stars to happen. Like fully 100% no clouds? I think so. Mm. That doesn't mean they will happen, but that does mean that like, if you're looking up at the sky and it's cloudy, then, then at least you know probably not to bother. Yeah. Yeah, Beach had a full-on meteor shower, and he just kept wishing on stars. Oh, and yeah. then the next day, he just kept finding star fragments everywhere for forever. Are they good for selling? It sounds like they'd be... Uh, they're they're required for a specific pattern that uh, Celeste gives you. Yeah, I have the uh, little wand thing. But I think they're also good for some other patterns that she also gives out. Mm. But I don't know too much about that because I haven't hit that point really. Yeah, I've only seen her once. And I didn't get any of the uh, star shards because I didn't get any shooting stars. Uh huh. So many peaches on this island. I don't have that many cherries on mine. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that, like, uh, that Celeste probably works in the same way as some other guests do, where if you uh, go and visit a person's island who has that, or if a person has a meteor shower going on on their island, you might be able to visit and also still wish upon stars and stuff. Probably, yeah. Because like that's part of the it's part of the the point of visiting other people's islands is going and checking what items are in their store with uh, Timmy and Tommy, 
uh, if Mabel shows up, seeing what clothing she has to sell, fishing and fruit and stuff. Buy some flowers here. Um, yeah, like why else would you go and hang out with your friends on their island other than to buy out their entire store? <laughs> I mean, there was uh, a couple nights ago, uh, I, I let just my friends in, and we all acquired instruments and just made a bunch of noise. Mm. We were we were the best band. Uh, two ocarinas and a tambourine. <laughs> yeah, I have the ocarina recipe. I have a pan flute recipe, but I don't have the materials to build it quite yet. Oh, neat. Mm. I didn't realize that was a recipe one. I just found the tambourine out of like a balloon or or a tree or something. Hmm. Um, I think it might be a seasonal one because uh, bamboo, it looks like, is designated as a seasonal variety of recipes. Hmm. So you might not get it on uh, this island, for example. Oh, we got some nook files. Nook files. Nook miles for uh, shellfish. Yeah, I found I found bamboo on a mystery island, um, so I got stuff on there. Hey, James. Is James here? He's in the chat. Oh, is he? Did he give a friend request? Uh, if he did, uh, you'd have to go into a different menu. Um, uh, on the switch itself, and if you're gonna do that, I would suggest maybe uh, switching to booth briefly, mm. just so that the friend code just doesn't go out into the wild. Uh, since James is such an influential and important person, I'm going to do that. Um, although I would have to take the switch off of. Oh no, wait, I wouldn't have to. No, you don't. You just need to switch to booth so no one else can see it, and then. Let me just... I mean, we do want famous YouTuber James to be able to oh. have fun on the southern hemisphere island that is Moonbase Cash Money. Moonbase Cash Money, yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just like saying Cash Money. You were the one who named it! So? I have three friend requests, and I'm working through them, and it's telling me to please wait. Oh, there we are. There's one. Uh, Graham, sure. Why not? And James. He gave himself brown hair as an amiibo. Okay, back to this. Uh, right corner. There we are. Now we're friends. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do? We have a director's chair for the house, and lilies and pansies that I'm going to plant. Uh, James, I believe that my airport is open for guests. If you want to just fly on over, I believe that's fine. It should be open for friends, and if your friends on the switch, it should just work. Um... Hmm. We'll give it a couple minutes while I plant these uh, flowers. But where should I plant them? So many peaches on this island. I keep forgetting how many peach trees you have. Uh, let's plant some flowers too. We have some pansies. I planted so many flowers on the first day. Uh, 
and lilies. I do not have lilies on my island. I definitely want to get some of those. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna have to friend yourself to the. I did already. To the lure switch. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the three that I was accepting there. Let me get more nook miles. I think I saw. Weird. Had a notification there. Okay, he's grabbing some stuff. Good to know. Uh, still have some more pansies. We have a house. We could probably put some. Oh, I need to plant something here. So, 1500? Is that how much you should put in the hole? Um, sure. Sure. I think it's 15,000. 15,000. It's, it's, it's 10,000 maximum is the supposed amount. But if you want to experiment with more than that, you go, you go for it. We won't know for a few days. I'm going to take out all 10,000 here and then I'm going to plant them. Oh, now it makes a tree. There we are. And I'm a kind individual. I know that this doesn't really do anything for trees, but I'm going to water that. <laughs> Let's plant some. And he's here. Um, lilies. I never really think of lilies as being yellow flowers. They're always white in my mind. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think the only other lily I think about is like tiger lilies. Yeah. Easter or tiger, the two varieties. Sure, Easter. Not death at all. Death lily. <laughs> Is that its name? Well, well, no, but lilies are often are uh, the the white lily that people think of often are a symbol of of that or of, like death. I so. think yeah, I think it's a white lily on the um, oh, I can't shake that right now. Uh, white lily on the flag of the death tarot card, mm. or maybe a lotus. One of those. I know it's a white flower. Looks like someone's on the way right here. Oh, lovely. Ding dong, announcement time. The Great Weirdling has subscribed for 10 months. 10 months, I have that many fingers. Cuddle Branch has subscribed for 35 months. Many thanks for being one of the things helping me hold together. There were other words in a different order there, but I read them differently just for you. Graphics content for 12 months and Avalens for 40 months. Ding dong, that's the end of the announcements of subreads. Thank you for those announcements, Heather Deary. And now to turn it to James, who is not on microphone. Trinity Island. Okay. I named mine Kootenai, because I'm from the Kootenays. And it felt like it would be a nice little slice of home. There's our boy, James from Trinity. Looking like a right businessman. Now, oh, I could have just used the directional. Go say hi. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, you have the pan flute. Oh, very nice. Well, we're 
we're gonna be best friends, James. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Ooh, stuff. I mean, he he has to like it. He has to consent to being best friends. Yeah. <laughs> That is a cardboard box. Thank you. And a wooden block bookshelf. Thank you. You're so generous. I would react, but I can't yet. <laughs> That's me doing a dance. That's about as good as I can do. Yes, that thing. I would have done that. Thank you for that good performance. I will bow my net to you. My net has been bowed. <laughs> oh. Drake, fly. I do appreciate that the hot items in the store are items that you can craft. Mm -hmm. You can write messages with R still. Yes, I can. Though I am kind of waiting for the hot item to be something like fruit or something that's just like, here's a thing I can collect very easily and just sell as opposed to spending time crafting. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I personally do not like too much about the messages here is that I have to use this keyboard or... Mm -hmm. I have to use the app on my phone, but my phone is a BlackBerry, and I am 110% um, ready to swap that out for a newer phone that actually has apps at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except I can't right now. <laughs> yeah, I think you can set up a keyboard with the Switch, um, which might make that easier, but I haven't looked into that too much i think uh i think it has to be a usb keyboard which means it's only gonna really work docked but i mean for stream purposes that's pretty good yeah i don't know why i'm writing this out but see how slow this is or yeah Oh, I know. Uh, it's also meant for very short messages. I why did I call them resident? The resident board. Maybe I'll come back and do that. Please do. <laughs> uh, wooden block bookshelf. I have one of those. Lovely. Uh, Cardboard box. I mean, if you also have the um, the the Nintendo app on your phone, uh, you're supposed to be able to do a voice chat thing, which I haven't tried because, frankly, all my friends have Discord. Yeah, <laughs> so way it's, simpler. It's kind of like I already have a method. Thanks. It's way way easier too and faster. Uh. I think I still need to dig up some fossils once I get to the right tool. There we are! <laughs> Go through the whole wheel. So you're coming back over to leave a message for a resident? Yep. I hope it will be a wonderful piece of art. Still haven't... We'll see what I can come up with. Yeah. Still haven't found the uh, furniture in the tree. I have been finding some fossils, though. Oh, other way. There we are. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. So many 
tools. And a monarch. Nice. Now is probably a good time to do the wheel Mew Forever 23. Probably. <laughs> do I have enough Nook Miles for it though? I'm gonna fill up and then go check. Are you going to harass James while he's here, too? Mm. Think about it. Think about it, yeah. Probably not, though. Yeah, fair. I mean, I don't know exactly why the chat thinks I want to harass James so much all the time. Because usually when I do, it's it's very nice stuff. Yeah. Yeah, James, this is a South Island, so definitely fill up on bugs and stuff. Yeah, fill- eat bugs while you're here, please. Fill up on them. Um, I mean, you could harass James with fruit. Although I have a couple <laughs> fruit, too. I mean, Beach and I did get into an axe fight the other night, which was just kind of funny, because they just kind of bounce off of you. Yeah, they do. Oh god. I'm not sure if James has seen your uh, visage yet. Ebug says that uh, he'll donate 2,000 bits if James gets stung by wasps, and that's just... no. You can't Won't plan that. It. I mean, you... you there... You, you can. If, if you can shake the wasps and get them close to another person. You can, but I'm you not can divert that. wasps. Yeah. Oh, good to know. Can. I just thought that they honed in on you only. <laughs> mm. Oh, pine cone. I'm guessing that pine cones and acorns only show up in fall, because I have not seen any of either of them. Uh, I've had a, I've had an acorn, I think. Um, there was one on this island, I know, that much. But if yours is a spring, then that wouldn't explain why I haven't seen any at all. Chat, what should I put on the board? I will not look at chat while they talk about that. Thank you, eBlock, for those 500 bits. Ooh, okay. Alright. Got some, got some ideas from chat. Ugh. Guessing that notification was that we're best friends now, James. How kind of you. I'm a bona fide bone finder. That's me. I wonder what wonderful art Heather Deary is creating on the notice board. A red dragon fly and a monarch. Funny. Now, can I get the tool wheel? Oh, it's only 800. Can you get that? It's not lying when it says it's essential. Nope. It's definitely a very good upgrade. Yeah. All 
Alright. Oh, is there anything else Tom Nook wanted us to do? Uh, nothing while company's here. That's fine. So you're there drawing. I'm guessing that James is fishing. Either of us have oranges or pears. I didn't. I didn't bring extra fruit, but I. I do have those things that in my other island, James. Does James want an orange and a pear? I'm good. I'm. I mean, I'm assuming so. I just haven't looked at chat, so. Because you were making your artwork. Ah yes. I mean, he asked. Uh, did he in chat? Um, I, sorry, I meant in-game chat, uh, orange, and we have pears, or sorry, I was thinking peaches, we have pears here. James, where are you? Because now that I've planted one, I can get as many as I like in the future. That's true. There you are. That was not the tool I wanted. This is me appreciating and friendliness dancing at you, James. <laughs> whatever that, whatever those words I just said meant. I mean, it's hard, right? You don't have any reactions yet. Yeah. So many weeds. Yep, weed country. I haven't cleared out all the weeds on my island, but I like the look of them, so why would I clear them out? <laughs> I know James told me that he, he basically cleared off every single weed on his island. Huh, okay. I, he is a man of order. Oh, I cannot activate these at all right now. Okay, good to know. Time to check out the upper heights of this island. I chose a different layout for mine. Mine has a little, um, little island within the island between the rivers. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that layout more. Yeah, I think we went with this one because it gave us the most uh, area that we could explore in the first day yeah. without like a bolting pole and stuff. Makes sense. Here's a question. Can you wear this hat and a flower at the same time? Nope. Yeah, unfortunately not. You oh. can't even have the flowers that you hold in your mouth at the same time as a as a hat. There are flowers you hold with your mouth? Yeah, roses roses go in the mouth. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why? You can just wear it nicely <laughs> and cutely. But if you want to be a romantic, that makes sense. I was kind of hoping there would be a difference between items on, like, your face and items on your head. Mm. So that, like, I could wear a hat with this mask. But, uh, unfortunately not. I know the first day that I played, bandages, or band-aids or whatever, were available 
in the shop, and I didn't get them because that wasn't really the look I'm going for. I wonder if I could have worn those with a hat. Because they were just like across the nose and on the cheek. Mm. Yeah. I think uh I think you can do facial designs like makeup or something, and that is different than 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 hats and stuff, but I'm not totally sure because I haven't done any of that in my own game. Yeah. You've just done some kabuki theater, I see. Well, like I said, some things happened last night. <laughs> they were very dramatic things. I'm trying to look for free furniture, and all I'm getting is money. So we are approaching 2 o'clock, and we scheduled mm -hmm. the stream to be until 2. Um, did you feel like extending it at all, or do you want to tap out at 2? Oh, I thought we were on till 3. I mean, I was fine to go till 3, but I think the schedule said until 2. <laughs> so let's just go till 3. <laughs> that sounds great. I don't I don't stream at home until three, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. oh, I got a fossil. Uh -oh. With that in mind though, I do need to pop off to the little Let's boys the room very quickly. So yeah, I think we should go on a quick break just to let everyone rehydrate and dehydrate. Um, so there we are. There's the button for it. So uh, see you in a couple minutes. All right. Okay, that was a very quick break for me. Just need a very quick uh, jaunt off to the little boy. You can't say I am anything but efficient. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I wasn't going to comment at all. <laughs> yeah, that's my job to comment on my own personal activities. This one is new. I'm going to drop that off at the university library shelving storage unit uh, <laughs> place that we uh, are constructing in town. So I know that you can eat fruit mm -hmm. and I know that for example if you eat fruit you can uproot an entire tree with your shovel. Are there any other boosts that it gives you? Uh, you can break rocks. Why would oh, you break, want break. to, though? Uh, because maybe they're not in an area you want them to be in. Fair. Like, that's gonna be a landscaping thing, really. Yeah. It's, uh... They do, they do respawn, but it takes a few days, so they're, I've heard that some people have accidentally broken all the rocks. But they will come back. In a different spot? Yeah. Okay. So there's like a quota for the island. You can make your own quarry, I guess. So I know that we need... I think it is... 30 iron and each type of wood. Hmm. I can't activate my rocks right now though maybe i need to get a better shovel or axe i could just because we're on the island maybe it won't let you get stuff out of the rocks you can cut trees so 
So it'd be kind of surprising if you couldn't cut rocks. Oh, okay. 3,000 for that. I'll wait for a minute for that. We haven't done nuke shopping today, though. We already have a scooter. I don't think we need a mi mountain bike and a scooter. That's lovely. That's lovely. Is that there? Just say hi on it? Like, I'm, hello? Maybe. I'm not really... I can't read that. I'm not I proficient. I can't read for, yeah, at all. That. So, sure. Sure, why not? Uh, that one actually looks rather nice. I'm going to buy that one. It'll be in the mail. Look at what again, Matt? For Dark More Fruit in chat? Yeah, off the oh, uh, witch. Thank you. Here. That was the... Uh, vine that I was trying to paraphrase and just completely didn't get the words out. What's up? I'm Jared, 19, and didn't learn how to read. Oh, the shirt. Yeah. I can look at it again. It was one of the more detailed uh, kanji or katakana or whichever. <laughs> They are different. They are, yeah. I, I know that. I just have I just can't read them. I haven't done a lot of that. So that's about as much time as I'm gonna give you for that. If you need more, just uh got a screenshot, thanks. Great. Thank you for your service, Dark Morphruit. I mean, I do know that because it's a Nintendo game, it's probably not offensive. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Oh wait, those are already watered. Never mind. Uh, pick up a weed or two here. I believe I can chop trees right now, even if I can't. Yeah, I can chop trees. Even if, even if I cannot get uh, stones, I can get the wood requirement for building the shop out. Even after you get a better axe, there's almost a utility in keeping one of the uh, bad ones or earlier ones or whatever, just so that if you do want to get as much wood as you can from trees, you don't cut them down if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there is a better stone axe that's not like the steel axe. Mm-hmm. Alright, I've left a bulletin. I caught a couple more fish, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the island. Oh, I should check your bulletin. James definitely left one. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> I'll check on James's in a hot minute here. Hi, Heather. Bye. Virtual. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm still gonna be here. Mm -hmm. uh, Yumidian, thank you for the 38 month resub. And E Block cheered with 500 bits saying, Heather not being evil, what madness is this? Look, E Block. Oh, well. My evilness is, is not predetermined and it cannot always happen because otherwise it wouldn't be a surprise. Yeah, you just yeah, have just chaotic energy. That's the important thing. Oh. I think James might be leaving too. Oh no, someone's oh no, popping, in. popping in. Hey. 
<laughs> it's Graham. From Belle of course Isle. He's <laughs> Makes sense. Would you say that you are chaotic neutral, Heather? I would say I don't give my secrets away. Mm. Mm. Nice music. It's your boy. Can you change your eye color? Yes. Hmm. Why not be this? And pick of the bunch. A bunch of fruit, I believe. Precocious bounty. Lucky type. And so much. Yeah, Nook there's miles. uh there's a lot of things to get Nook Miles in. Yeah. It's really interesting. Uh my favorite are the bad things. Collecting trash. Well, collecting trash, getting stung. Hmm. Fainting. Uh, I've gotten the fainting one. Beach got one for uh, popping the balloon and having the gift fall into the water. That happened to me too, accidentally. <laughs> now where is your boy? There he is. <laughs> the two of them. We have the same hat. <laughs> same hat. Same hat. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh, new shirt. Stylish. <laughs> I feel like the colors of our outfit are clashing a bit, but it's a gift, so I'm going to keep it. I mean, eventually you might find a better hat. Yeah. I have not yet talked to this guy. I like Biff. What are we up to? Okay, dude. 7,000 push-ups, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's a sportster. My island started with um, Hamlet, which is sports hamster, and uh, Sylvia, who's a uh, uh, purple kangaroo. Mm. When you said Hamlet, I was like, pig? But no, they went for hamster. Yeah, no, a lot of a lot of the uh, names are puns, and sometimes they're puns based upon what kind of animal they are. Mm -hmm. uh, like, one, one of my favorites is, like, Octavian, and he's an octopus. Mm. What would that look like? I like, like to call Hamlet Hammy, though. Hammy, yeah. We only have three more rocks. Uh, getting a bit low on space here. Uh, I mean, you have a house. You could go put some of that stuff in storage if you don't want to, like, carry the clothes around and stuff. Yeah. I'll probably do that in a hot minute here. Ever since I got the wardrobe in my game, I I stick all of my clothes that I'm not wearing in storage just so that when I open the wardrobe I can do uh, the changing out. Mm. With the nice big screen to be in the center. <laughs> Any clothing that I get that I might feasibly wear at some point I've been holding on to. Mm. Uh, not all clothing I've gotten, though. Mm. 
Hello, you boy. In a uh, stylish white polka dot uh, teal color or cyan or something like that. <laughs> is clothing customizable like furniture is at all i think so i think some of it is yeah. um if it's not there's like the the pro design feature where you can at least make your own mm. but i haven't played too much with that yet fair I've gotten I've gotten the furniture customizing stuff, so I've played with that a little bit, and different parts get customized depending on the furniture. So, like uh, the the when they give that to you, they have you make the wardrobe, and you can make it look like different kinds of wood. Yeah. But I also got a tea set, and the only thing that it customized was the fabric underneath the tea set. So the mm. tea set itself was still the same. You can't, you can't, um, swap out chai for chamomile. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. I was hoping to change, uh, the color of the tea set, personally, but... Yeah. Today, um, for about 20 minutes before stream and getting to the office, I played My Island, and I went to the Nook shop, and they were selling a fortune-telling set, which I bought immediately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen that set. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I am up to three rooms in my house right now. Ooh. And one of them is just a general junk room, and that's the entrance room. Mm -hmm. One of them is my kitchen slash bathroom. <laughs> I don't have enough stuff to build an actual full set of either of those. And the other one is my plant slash meditation room i guess that's what it's building out to be including the fortune telling set because i got an incense burner as well i do know that there is a rug that exists that basically looks like a summoning circle oh i think you're gonna probably want i know i definitely want it yeah i got a couple rugs i got visited by the rug guy uh yesterday oh sahara yeah here i am i like the way they talk <laughs> <laughs> i haven't run into them yet in my game but i know they exist so mm -hmm. we are getting a bit full yeah the the summoning circle rug reminds me of um uh card capture sakura when she summons cards the the circle of light that shows up around her so, I'm hoping I can customize it to be, like, pink. Yeah, wouldn't that be neat? Having different colored uh, summoning circles. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to a couple peaches. I'll hold on to that young spring bamboo. We want to keep the wharf roach. Good enough for now. Lawrence 72. Summoning circle rugs are bad. Roombas can cause major problems on them. Problems or solutions? <laughs> I think it depends on what you're summoning. Mm -hmm. Bye, Graham. Have a fun time on Belle Isle. Hello, Novrd. Wish you all have a nice DY. Same to you. Uh, let's move that over here. What else? We need more wood. We're getting close to 30 of each kind. That'll be useful. Hmm. Right, yeah, because you'll want to try and get that shop set up, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to get iron. Well, like enough if, iron, anyway. 
if you get some nook tickets so that you can go to the other islands and find some rocks, you might be able to. Maybe. Um, hard to stay within the time limit. Yeah. But <laughs> we have an hour left, so we'll have to see. You can at least get a start on yeah. getting iron. Maybe we can uh, uh, try and, and get that set up uh, off stream so that, that the shop exists. Uh, by For the next stream. Well, now that we have one free Nook ticket that I could use, I'm not sure if you can go in groups the mystery islands? I don't think you can. Hmm. Oh, I missed that. I feel like we I would definitely have seen people on uh Twitter talking about about that. Yeah. Cuz it was a thing in New Leaf. There's a there there was an island. It wasn't a mystery island. It's the same island every time you went. Um that you could go visit and you could take friends with you, but it ha it basically always asked you if you were going with people or not. Mm. And since that option hasn't really appeared in the the airport, I I just don't see it being a thing. Yeah. Hawk Falcon 8, are you guys still doing loading ready live? I believe we're uh, formulating plans to do so. We are currently doing Loading Ready Live in some form. Something's gonna happen. If if it comes to the point where we're not doing it for some reason, uh, it will it will definitely come off the calendar, but I think at this point we would also have to tweet about it just so people know. Yeah. But as far as we're working on it, it, it is on the schedule and we are we've got some ideas in place and we're going to be testing some of that to see what our tech is like for it soon so there'll be something yeah at the very least if it's not happening and that is if then we'll tell you we'll definitely make an announcement about that because we love doing live as much as you guys like watching it mm-hmm 30, 30, 30. Great. Time to turn those in. Chill tunes. Uh, just today in my game, I finished upgrading the tent. Uh, and the music changed on the island. Ooh. Have you gotten that far? I, I, the the community tent. Yeah. Or, the community. Yeah. Tent. I, it should. Mine's under construction today, so tomorrow, mm. it should be open. I did discover last night that if you go visit the uh, Nook's Cranny shop at the last like ten minutes of the day, the music in there changes. Does it? Like to a hectic sounding version, or? Oh, uh, it's a little bit more upbeat. But it's it's definitely less laid back. Yeah. It's very much a we're closing soon. Please leave. <laughs> <laughs> Did we not have enough? Yeah. Oh. It donated all three at once. Okay, good to know. We have a kitty litter box, celebratory candles, and orange paint wall. Let's see what those look like. Ooh, yeah. Some redecoration. Mm -hmm. Iris of Either, the egg drop skit. I've never laughed so hard. I really enjoyed helping filming and editing it. It was very fun. The only change I would make to my editing now is I wasn't as experienced back then. Uh, would be taking the color saturation down a little bit. <laughs> so 
But that's in my eye anyway. We'll leave that like that. Candles, candles. Gotta have candles. They're celebratory. So, birthday candles? Ooh. Not quite. No. Oh! <laughs> huh. Well. I'll All leave right. those. I was expecting something a little more generic. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have a bathroom right now, so this will have to do. <laughs> Yeah, right next to a chair. Good, good. Yeah. Uh, did you know that if you do get a toilet and you've eaten fruit, you can sit on the toilet to remove the fruit buff? Yes, I have heard. I mean, it is nice that they have a way for that to go away. away. Yeah. Because I know I've definitely accidentally eaten fruit when I've meant to, like, put it down or, or put it away. Mm-hmm. I usually just go pick up trees and then replant them, though. Yeah. Well, that's one way to do it. Uh, what is our next thing? We want iron. Is anyone actually currently visiting us? I know Graham left. Uh, I've left, Graham left. I don't think James has left. You can force him to leave if you want. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, he is out, yes. If you push the, um, minus button, it'll... Push it'll, people? Uh, it'll ask you, if people are on the island, it'll ask you what, what do you want to do? Do you want to end the session? Um, without, and that's just not ending the game, but if there's no one on the island, then it'll be like, do you want to wrap up? Time to save and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to leave right now if you don't want to, James. Oh, new DIY recipe for fishing bait. Yeah. I really liked finding that. The the bait? Yeah, because just having having the ability to make fish spawn is a lot is a lot nicer than having to run up and down the beach a million times when you're trying to look for stuff. I mean, I do that anyway, but... <laughs> It's also really easy uh, when you get the Nook Miles for um, craft three things. It's a really fast and easy thing to craft. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't clutter up your inventory or anything because you're going to use them. Hmm. Dark Morford says that that shirt was actually in Chinese okay. and basically means hi, hey, hello. Standard greeting. The one thing about the Manila Clams is that I wish they had more than one um, saying for when you dig one up. Mm. Because they only have one saying for it. I I kind of would like it if that they were a, a stackable item. Yeah. But at least the bait itself is stackable, so it's... Yeah. That might and be why... You know, hmm? That might be why they don't stack, is that when... If you have none in your inventory and you craft one, um, if they don't stack, then you're never going to have a full inventory after you craft one. But if they did, mm -hmm. you might, and that might cause an inventory problem. I don't know. Still would be yeah, nice if they stacked. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're used for anything else either, so it's just pull them out craft them into bait, or I guess sell them. They're treated like animals, you can free them. Mm. Mm -hmm. They just kind of disappear when you do that, though. Fish to craft things later. You craft things with fish? I don't know. But maybe? Like, if if they have 
the uh, the little clam as a craftable item, and it's treated like an animal, maybe maybe there's there's other crafty things. Ooh, there we are. What'd you get? And imperial low table. Ooh. Let's go install that. Yeah, if they if they make some DLC improvements or I guess updates to the game, I would like to be able to um, multiple craft bait and like tools and other things where if you have the supplies, it's just like how many of these do you want to craft? Yeah, bulk crafting. Yeah. Nice. I don't I don't even care if that's just like oh, there's a better crafting table you have to acquire in order to do that. I just the option somewhere would be great. I like this table. Um, looks good. Looks good. One thing that would be good is that if in in an update, if you wanted to craft your highest tier of, I was gonna say weapon, a tool, <laughs> you wouldn't have to like chain craft. Oh yeah. That would be good, too. Yeah. They've already have put out one update for this game. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a couple more quality of oh, life there's, ones. There's definitely going to, I think, be some additional updates as the game progresses that are not just um, seasonal events. I, I feel like what they did was they got the majority of this game done, they polished it really good, and I could very much see some quality of life stuff uh, coming at at some point. Mm -hmm. I am full of stuff right now. Time to go sell. Um, yeah, I guess it would make sense that seasonal events would be... Oh, bye, James. I'm gonna tell him that. Why, why do it that way? Bye. <laughs> All right. I think I have enough Nook Miles to get, well, maybe not, the DIY package for better tools. Have a wonderful day. Honestly, man with the plans, I don't see them doing an update to allow for more than one island per switch. They've, they've said that that was a very uh, specific design choice, and because of that, I don't, I don't see them uh, backing Reneging down on, on that. It. Yeah, yeah. I know that's definitely a criticism for some, some people, um, and I, I understand it, but uh, just because there are there are specific design decisions they have made that are ingrained. So, I do wonder, uh, like, if it's a server thing, maybe, of like how in, many islands per switch. The well, because they could have made it separate islands per per account, but I believe what they've said is that the idea was for people to be on the same island and experience the same island. Um, so I I personally think it's a design choice um, over just like a straight up technical one, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not it's not to say that like if they'd make another game again in I don't know ten years uh, that they won't uh, they they'll they'll do it differently based on how people reacted this time around, but. Mm -hmm. The, the big update I really want, I think everyone really wants to know about and see about is how they're going to do um, cloud saves, because originally it was just, we're not doing them, and that's to prevent cheating. Mm. And But then the, the last thing they said was they were working on something so that if your Switch was lost or stolen or 
something happened to it that you would be able to grab your save data back somehow. And we haven't gotten more details on that. And I think that's more more the thing that I'm interested to hear about yeah. as time moves on. Well, and like people already are time cheating, right? Oh yeah, no, I, that's that's the thing people are gonna do. But I think for uh, when they when they say they're trying to stop people from cheating, it's things like item duplication, mm. uh, which is a thing you can do if you have. Uh, I, I think it's a thing that you can kind of uh, do because of the way that their cloud saves work, that you can open with uh, a thing on one switch as a current save and then grab your cloud save and do a weird thing to it is is what they're avoiding, which is why some of the other games don't support cloud saves. Yeah. I, I think it's more what they're trying to prevent than straight up time travel in that respect. They're, I think, trying to prevent time travel uh, doing too many different things by the fact that you can't access the different events by time travel. I know they already found a duping glitch, Chad. They they patched that out. Is that what the update was for? That's what the update did, as mm. far as I've heard. I mean, you can pretty like, much you can, buy you can anything, say, right? Oh, people will find glitches and find ways to do whatever. That doesn't mean that that's not what they're trying to prevent. actually fish something right now um i mean like for me it's not super high priority to keep people from like duping items or whatever because in this game it's not competitive so it doesn't really impact stuff really it impacts people's ability to, I guess, organically um, discover everything in the game, but that's I think the there's choice a certain, they make. There's a certain uh, experience they want people to have with the game. Yeah. And when they try to stop people from doing things like time travel and whatnot, that's why. Um, while yes, it is a single player game now because we have a lot of connectivity through the internet. Like if you go online on Twitter, you see a lot of people posting about what they're doing with their towns and stuff. There is a sense uh, from, I'm going to say people who are very anti time travel to the point where they don't like seeing other people use time travel because there are people who don't care, but don't time travel that uh, it feels like you're being left behind when other people are getting much further in the game. Yeah. But, again, that's just... That's that's the reasonings I see. It's, I'm not going to defend what they are or, what, or why exactly, because that's... I'm not Nintendo. You aren't? Go talk to them. I thought that was one of your secrets. No, no, no. I always do work from the shadows. Yeah. Remember, you're not going to know that I have taken over Nintendo secretly from the shadows until they make that Splatoon Idol Hatsune Miku-like game that I want. And when that happens, then you know. Then you know I've infiltrated. The crossover everyone called for. That would be quite a crossover, really. I think it would be great. I would love a Splatoon idol game. The way that I want it, not as a mobile game. I need to say that all out loud before the monkey's paw closes. <laughs> you got halfway there, but I think you got in under the wire. <laughs> I think a fish bites within five nibbles. So I usually yeah, count them out. Five. I think this it's is actually new. easier, I find, to catch fish by listening to the sound. Mm. 
for timing purposes. Yeah, I think I count them out so that I don't jump at the sound too hard. Because uh, mm. if you bring too much anxious energy to it, then you're going to overshoot. <laughs> But I find I actually find the time travel argument really funny right now because the um I I played New Leaf when it came out like six or seven years ago mm -hmm. and that argument was happening then. So it's just watching new people rehash the same arguments about yep. why people shouldn't or why people should and and how dare you tell people how to play the game and, and all of that and I'm just like I don't I don't care. I don't want to. The end don't care. Yeah. Watch this argument play out six years ago. Still seeing it happen. Whatever. God, like, humans are like that, aren't they? <laughs> same arguments all the time. Like, I have seen <laughs> the same cycle of arguments for um, independent artists. Like, on DeviantArt, on Tumblr, on Twitter. And this is over the span of like a decade and a half of the same arguments cropping up again and again of like, is it stealing if you use reference? It's not. Uh, <laughs> like, what defines fully owned content? What defines like fair use of content? What defines mm -hmm. a bunch of stuff like that? It's a fraught argument. Oh, lots I don't of different, doubt that. Lots of different stances. I mean, I didn't spend that much time on Tumblr, but I spent a lot of time on DeviantArt. Mm. So, yeah, I know which ones you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I still have a DeviantArt page, but I have not visited it in over a decade. <laughs> Like, when I started going to university, I flat out just stopped visiting it at all. Ah, uh, yeah. I haven't... I haven't looked at mine in a while. It's I just find... so hard to keep up to date. Yeah, yeah. Especially with how many people I followed way back when. Mm. Mm -hmm. And my tastes in art have changed so much as well. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't help when they added groups that people could join and make posts from mm -hmm. for following. I don't think I ever interacted with groups. I was in a lot of crafting ones for a while. Fair. Need more rocks. Where are rocks? Um. God, it'd be such a blast from the past to go and revisit that page and just see what's in my inbox. Uh, I might still have a plushie from DeviantArt. Of a llama, or...? Uh, no, of the little DeviantArt mascot. Oh, okay, the little demon guy. Yeah. Yeah. I remember llamas being a big thing on there. Yeah, I think those are still a big thing on there. Yeah. I bought I bought some stuff from them like once, and I got like a backpack, which I think I got rid of because it did not it kind of rode too high on my shoulders and hurt. Mm. Um, I got the plushie, and then I got like um, I got one of their lanyards that glowed in the dark for a while because I was doing artist alleys, and it seemed like a good idea to have that uh, that signifier to be like, hey, you can tell that I'm on DeviantArt. Mm -hmm. You're a DA aficionado. Uh... Oh wait, no, I just picked that up. I'm like, when did I get that? <laughs> I was listening to you talking, so just didn't process. Um, I'm gonna... Why would I store these new things here when I can do it outside? I forgot, everyone left. The Enigma Engine. So what's the appeal of Animal Crossing? Uh, de-stressing primarily, but also um, 
just the unfolding creative pursuits of developing your own little environment. Oh, didn't mean to show it off. Uh, environment and community. That's what I would say. What about you, Heather? Um, I just find it to be very, like, a relaxing thing. Uh, when I look at the way the gameplay goes, to me it's, um, so you know they talk about Zelda got created as this thing of, of going out and exploring and, and adventuring and in kind of like in your backyard is, was like the idea of the original one. And when I look at Animal Crossing, to me, it's like, it's the idea of moving into a community and helping a community grow. Yeah. And evolve and just kind of watching this slow period of time as things change and just enjoying, you know, that whole idea of uh, take a moment to smell the roses. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm gonna use our nook ticket now to get more iron. Because we that's the only thing yeah. we need for the shop now. Yeah, go uh you might want to empty your pockets before hitting up an island. I think I'm gonna like fill up on a lot of the stuff I'm already carrying. Like we can get a lot more wood too. Um, yeah, but they only go to a certain amount in the stack. Mm. So if you leave with empty pockets then you have the maximum amount of space in order to fill. Makes sense, yeah. I'll put them in my wardrobe. <laughs> Although I guess we don't have one of those yet. Oh well. Storage for you. I always leave the uh, radio on in my little house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've upgraded mine to a, a DJ set. Oh wow, I haven't seen one of those yet. It fell out of a tree. <laughs> Some of my best furniture just seems to fall out of trees. Yeah. I've gotten two zen cushions from trees. Ooh. The thing I like too is... Um, Anytime you pick up an item, the game basically registers it as part of your catalog mm -hmm. once you get the catalog unlocked. So even if you don't, if, uh, say you visit your friends and they put stuff down, you pick it up and you put it back, you should still be able to access it through your catalog. And as long as it's a purchasable item, because the catalog will also host stuff that you've crafted mm -hmm. and other things that you can't just buy, um, you can just order more of it. Yeah, I think I have a couple um, plants that I want to buy a couple more copies of in my catalog. Because my meditation room is also my plant room. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also a really good way to check uh, what fossils you've already obtained. Because really? Because the catalog will, will showcase all of them, so if you're like... If one of your friends is like, hey, did you get such and such fossil? You can just go to your catalog and look through it to see if it's there. Because chances are, if you got a new fossil, you already donated it to the museum, right? Yeah. I did not know that fossils were in the catalog. Makes sense, though, because they are sellable items. Mm-hmm. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? I like the little jingle, too. <laughs> Stretch a little. Finders keepers, break a tool, forget one. You can buy one from him for nuke miles. These are basically just randomized islands that you plunder. Uh-huh. <laughs> I really like Wilbur, though. I like all the, the, the radio talk he does. Yeah. I sped through it for the stream, but it's a good characterization. 
I also like that they give him this very deep voice. Iron. Iron. I have acquired gold nuggets. I have not acquired anything, oh, like that, uh, to use them on. Have you? <laughs> Uh, I've gotten two gold nuggets, but I haven't gotten anything for them yet. Yeah. I, I've just kept them in storage because I figure at some point they will be used for something. Yeah. And yeah. I haven't gotten too many, so I don't want to... I don't want to find the thing and it, it's going to be like, oh, you need five of these. I'm just like, oh, I'll never find them again. Yeah. Oh, I just hoard components like that all the time. To whoever this may be... Would you believe an amazing DIY recipe simply popped into my mind as I was enjoying a cup of tea? I cannot keep this idea to myself, so I have placed it in this bottle. It would please me if you made it. Far away wishes, Tekken. Ironwood low table. We'll have to check out what that looks like. I like that you, when you get a recipe, you just like stare at it a bunch and you're like, all right, cool, forever memorized. Yeah, I have a photographic memory. I like the tune on this island as well. Got a lot of peaches. Do the mystery islands um, heavily lean on the fruit of your island when they generate? They because... seem to. Yeah. Um, you can you can get other fruit. If, uh, I've seen it. Um, so you can get there eventually, but it does seem to aim more towards what your native fruit is. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen so, so many it, cherries. Yeah, it's way faster to uh, get the other fruit by trading with other people. Yeah. But I think the idea is that at least you can get it somehow. So if this game ever hits that point where uh, there's no longer any online connectivity but people are still playing, they're not they're not completely hosed. Yeah, because that's kind of the nature of online hosted games, is that eventually they are going to the offline. Mm hmm I think New Leaf still has online connectivity right mm. now, but I don't expect that to last much longer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the company that owns the servers for that uh, is still up and running. They made this. Oh, we have a friend. I'll talk to them after I harass this rock. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also just kind of the nature of when a new game from uh, the same franchise comes out. Eventually, the the older game ends up losing. Yeah. Uh, the online. They um. Sunset it. Oh hey, nice to meet you. I'm Clay. Cool. So you're Lermanity from Moonbase uh, Cash Money. Man, that's real cool. Let's have some fun while we're here together, Thump. They all have a key word. All the villagers. Yep. So do you think we should invite this person to our island? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. So much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could stay here forever pointing at stuff saying, that's nature. Man, it'd be real neat to live on an island like this. Full time, I mean. Remind me later, please. Pop-up came up on the computer. Hmm. Just living life, pointing at nature. Want to come to mine? It's nice to know that Clay wants to go to our island. I 
I find it interesting that Tom Nook controls all ingoing and outgoing on the island. Like you can't move there unless you talk to him. Tom Tom Nook controls everything. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the beginnings of Tom Nook are are a thing where it's just like he decided, oh, what if someone could organize a thing and 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 make this easier for people and and I'll be the one to do it. And the more he kind of just did it, the just the more he slowly gained all power and control and nobody else cared and you know, he was doing fine. Everyone was just a little lazy, and that allowed him to just kind of swoop in. Yep. Getting a lot of iron. That's what we're here for. Do we have 30? We have 14. We're not quite there. <laughs> Do mystery islands spawn that are in a different time or different season than uh, you are set at for your island? I haven't seen one yet. Yeah. So I don't know. Ooh, a guppy. Lovely little fish. I mean, I assume time-wise it's, it's the same time. Uh, in yeah. terms of day. Um, oh, Sarah says that apparently you can get a different hemisphere islands from what they've heard. But they're typically... They typically seem to be in the same one. Yeah, because the ones I've been seeing are all in the same. Yeah, I've not hit a different hemisphere island on my, myself. Um, so I assume if you can, it's probably like a rarer thing to have happen. Oh, that's not backed up by any reliable sources, for the record. Okay. So, potentially... Potentially? So much potential in this game. I mean, that's that's part of the excitement of this game right now, is it's, it's very familiar to uh, some stuff that they've done before, but there's definitely new things they've done. There's new villagers. Uh, there honestly appears to be new fish and bugs that I've never seen. From, from the previous game. And maybe they're in the other games that I just haven't played, but... Yeah. Well, new stuff's always exciting, right? Uh, like, this is an entirely new thing for me. I have not played any Animal Crossing at all. Just that one. Um, beyond a week of this one. I'm I've I've played mostly New Leaf and some Pocket Camp, but I am aware of some of the stuff that has been in other games. Mm. Like I know that uh, in one of the earlier games there was an observatory where you could look at stars and you could draw designs in the sky with stars. Mm. And they didn't do that afterwards or. Uh, I think in the first one you could get a, a Nintendo and play some of the NES games, which I don't think they've done in most of the other ones. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about being able to do that here. Yeah, like they, they did do an update to New Leaf where you could find a 3DS and a Wii U, and there were uh, one of them let you play uh, an Island Survivor game, and the other one let you play... Um, uh, basically a puzzle league game. Hmm. And that was really neat. Come on, other oh, air. Yeah, game within a game. It's kind of a thing Nintendo does with their games, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I'd be really happy if they made a Switch version of Nintendo Land. Because I really liked the idea of that. Here we are. 
I know there's a Nook Miles thing. Oh. Damn it. Lovely. There's a Nook Miles thing for successfully catching different amounts of fish in a row. And that's the one I'm <laughs> dreading. <laughs> because that means that yeah. you have to not mess up. Yeah, that's true. I know there's one for successfully catching wasps in a row without getting stung. Is there? Yeah, Beach managed to get that last night. It's something like five times in a row, I think. Oh, this one's new too. I'm surprised you didn't get a sea bass last time. Although I guess you were busy not doing fishing. We probably went to the river more than the sea. Fair. Yeah, I'm on. Not quite. There we are. We are approaching three now. You already had one of these? Oh, yeah. A so zebra, zebra turkey fish. <laughs> yeah, they're weird. Yeah. I would have just called it a catfish, but... I think that name's already taken. Okay. <laughs> this one has a fin. Ooh, that might be special. Might be special. Let's not mess this up. What? <laughs> nice. I caught an ocean sunfish. Good thing I'm wearing ocean sunscreen. Very nice. Oh, you're gonna have such such good stuff for the museum eventually. When the museum opens. Yep. Wow, okay. Holding that one to the side so I don't accidentally sell it. Uh, oh, we have that. My inventory is so I'm gonna go back. Ready to go home. From what I know about the sunfish, they are the dumbest creature on the planet. I think yeah. it's a sunfish. They're uh, they're also referred to as mola molas, which there's a there's a mobile game we all played based on that. Where mola they just mola. Die Oh no. <sighs> they literally do things like choke on the food they were eating and breathe wrong. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we breathe wrong too, you know. Yep. We're about as good as Mola Mola's some days. Oh, you want to talk to me? Hey, hey your reactions. I heard you're getting stuff together to build us a shop. Good hustle. Oh, iron! Thank you! Oh, even better! Well, I mean, for right now. Yeah, for right now. I think that was literally one iron nugget, but thank you. <laughs> thank you, Biff. <laughs> I've had them fall out of balloons. Yeah, uh, I've gotten money out of balloons, too. Let's see how big this tank is for the ocean sunfish. Oh, I bet it's huge! Yes! I Look at how it's lying down. It's basically a large bucket. Oh. Uh, does it look happy? I don't no. think it looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But it's probably in one of the really big aquarium spaces. Yeah. I think it goes with, um, I've gotten the football fish. And the ore fish. I think yeah. it goes in that tank. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. God, that thing. Oh. And in real life, they're bigger than that. They're like huge and very long, as far as I know. I mean, I haven't seen one in person, so. Uh, 
rest of this, I believe, I can just sell. All right, we oh, have uh, Tagrith for 38 months. Stay safe, Lurf folks. And sell Freddo for four months. Hi, Matt. Great catching you in stream. Hello to you. Good catching you here. I can't get anything here. Uh, any more, uh, announcer Heather? Uh, and that is currently all of our subs. All right. We are in the final five minutes of the stream, and I don't want to hold you because I know you do um, home streaming. Catch catch you at Lunar Jade on Twitch, I believe? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'll be streaming uh, some of my own Animal Crossing game uh, after we finish up with this stream. Mm -hmm. Atsu100 has subscribed for 15 months. Woo, last bit of stream sub. Woo. Um... So I would like to thank you and everyone else who has joined us. I'm just going to finish selling this before going to boost. Thank you. All right. And thank you for assisting me with all of this. Ooh, there we are. Thank you, Heather, for assisting me with all of this lovely island activity and being a lovely announcer. Um, I'm going to turn that down a little bit, too. There we are. I believe what we have coming up tonight around 5? Yes, around 5, is Friday Night Not Paper Fight with Magic the Gathering Arena. I believe it's with Graham and Ben and James and Adam in the Common Uncommon Historic, uh, whatever that means magic-wise. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a magicsman. It's okay, neither am I. Yeah. And then tomorrow, per the plan, around 6 p.m., we have Loading Ready Live. Something's going to happen. We're, go we're going to figure it out. And then on Sunday, around 4 p.m., there's Rhythm Cafe with our lovely announcer, Heather Deary, and Ian Horner as well, not currently in chat. Uh, are both of you going to be on that one? Uh, yes. We're still trying to figure out... We're testing a thing on Saturday uh, to see if there's something else we can do. Mm -hmm. um, but if not, I think we're probably going to do uh, a similar thing to what we're doing now, where one person is hosting and playing and the other person is remoting in. Yeah. Just do another stream where Ian forgets to change away from Booth <laughs> and is doing VR. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good content. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Monday, we have Play It Forward at 10 a.m. with more Final Fantasy VII as Graham works his way through a classic in the JRPG genre. And then Dice Friends at 5 p.m. with Dale taking on the GM hot seat in this very special WFH... Dice Friends campaign. I believe that's going to be a very kooky time. And then the uh, week continues from there. Now, I have not done the stream in so long. What do I even do now? Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I believe there was actually one more notification that I should mention. eBlock has cheered with a thousand bits. Thanks, Heather and Matt. Thank you for the bits and for joining us. And I believe I did not hear you say this one. Itsu 100 subscribed for 15 months. Woo, last bit of stream sub. Thank you for subscribing. And then you did get self rindo. All right. I said thank you a couple times. I told you what's coming up. I believe what we should do now is go offline and allow Heather to do her home stream after I say thank you to Glenn Eastwood for 62 months of support with Caboose. Bye, cool. everyone. Take care, everyone.